Housing and Urban Development Minister Venkai Naidu conducted a surprise check of his ministry this morning to discover many empty chairs. About 80 missing employees would be asked to explain why they were either late or missing. Venkai Naidu has ordered an installation of a biometric attendance system for the Urban Development and Parliamentary Affairs Ministries. He has also asked all joint secretaries of the two ministries to visit their respective establishments every day for a week to monitor attendance and take action against chronic offenders. Goa's Deputy Chief Minister Francis D'Souza has apologized for his remarks that he is a Christian Hindu after being criticized by the Catholic community. The Deputy CM said that while referring to the word Hindu, he wasn't talking about religion but culture. UP government has recommended a CBI probe into the Mohanlal Ganj rape and murder case of a 36-year-old woman. The victim's family members have been on a hunger strike demanding a CBI inquiry into the case. The body of the woman was found in the premises of a primary school in Mohanlal Ganj area in Lucknow on July 17th, after which a private security guard, Ram Sevak Yadav, was arrested by the police. The Vibhir High School opened today, days after it was shut, following outrage over the alleged rape of a six-year-old student by one of its staffers within its premises. The decision to reopen the school was announced on July 24th after a three-hour meeting of around 200 parents with the school management. Parents were demanding implementation of guidelines to ensure safety and security of their children. The Calcutta High Court has directed the CID to probe TMC MP Tapas Pal's alleged insensitive comments against women and has ordered that an FIR be lodged against him within 72 hours. The High Court will monitor CID's investigation. A special science express train with focus on biodiversity was flagged off with the aim of promoting environmental awareness and consciousness among the masses across the country. The train was flagged off by the Environment Minister Prakash Javrekar, Railway Minister Sadanand Gowda and MOS Science and Technology Dr. Jitendra Singh. Delhi High Court has stayed the Election Commission's show cause notice to ex-Maharashtra Chief Minister Ashok Chavan asking him why he should not be disqualified for failing to file his true expenses incurred in 2009 Assembly polls. The High Court also issued notices to BJP leaders Mukhtar Abbas Nakhvi, Kirit Somaya and an independent candidate who had filed the complaint against Chavan in the Election Commission. Union Health Minister Dr. Harsh Vardhan launched a nationwide campaign called Intensified Diarrhea Control Fortnight at India Habitat Centre in New Delhi. He called for more serious efforts to prevent death of children due to diarrhea. The aim of the campaign is to spread awareness against child deaths due to diarrhea in health facilities, anganwadis and schools. The violence against Marathi-speaking community at the hands of Karnataka police in Bailgam has drawn widespread condemnation and angry reactions across all parties in pole-bound Maharashtra. Shiv Sena in its mouthpiece, Samna, compared the police action with Pakistani terrorist Hafiz Said's acts. Congress spokesperson K.K. Mishra has been granted bail in a defamation suit filed by Chief Minister Shivrat Singh Chauhan. Chauhan had filed a case against Mishra after he accused him of involvement in the Byapam scam. Extending losses for the second day, equity benchmarks closed at one-week lows. With the Sensex ending below the 26,000 mark and the Nifty ending at 7,748.70 as investors booked profits in recent outperformers in sectors including realty, metals, oil and gas.